welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly test your WordPress contact forms before launching. Properly testing your forms before going live is an extremely important step in making sure that your users have a smooth experience when navigating your site. We'll go over the most important questions you'll need to ask yourself before going live, as well as addressing common issues that may come up. With that said, let's jump right in. The first thing you should do after creating your form is to preview it. You can do so by clicking on the preview button on the top right corner of the form builder. This will open the form in a new window and you can fill it out and submit an entry for yourself to test the form's functionality. When doing so, you should ask yourself the following questions. Question one, is form validation working properly? Validation messages appear in red text and are the messages that tell users things like, this field is required, or please enter a valid email address. These messages are important as they can provide instructions to users who may be a little confused when filling out your form or maybe skipped something by mistake. Try things like submitting the form without filling in a required field or entering an email address with an incorrect format to make sure that the validation message appears. If the messages aren't being displayed correctly, then there could be a code conflict between WP Forms and your site's theme or another plugin. Let's move on to the next question. Question number two, does the form notification email deliver successfully? If you've configured your form's notification settings, these emails should be sent out each time a user fills out and submits a form on your site. Sometimes though, these messages might get flagged as spam or are blocked entirely due to server configuration issues. To test the notifications, first go into the form builder, then go to settings, notifications, and check the email address in the send to field. Make sure this is an address you have access to. Next, preview your form and submit a test entry. When the form has been submitted, check the inbox for the email address in the send to field and make sure that the message is there and wasn't blocked entirely or flagged and sent to your spam folder. If either scenario happens, you can fix the issue by setting up SMTP on your site. SMTP fixes email delivery problems by authenticating them letting the receiving email server know that emails from your site are real and can be trusted. Be sure to check out our entire SMTP playlist linked in the video description below. Let's move on to question three. Is conditional logic working properly? If you're using conditional logic in your forms, make sure to preview the form and test out these specific fields to make sure they're working correctly. If a conditional logic rule isn't working as it should, Go back into the form builder and check the settings for any possible issues. If the settings look okay and there's still a problem, there may be a code conflict. Question number four. Are new subscribers added to your marketing platform when a form is submitted? It's important to make sure your forms are properly collecting and recording leads as they come in. So if you've connected your form to any marketing services, be sure to submit a test entry and check your marketing list before going live. We offer integrations to several popular marketing services and have tutorials for all of our options, which you can find on wpforms.com. If you notice any errors or leads that aren't being sent to your list properly, review the tutorials again as you may need to reestablish the connection between your forms and the service. Question number five, are test payments successful? WP Forms allows you to integrate your contact forms with the following payment services via our add-ons. To make sure the payment gateway is working properly before going live, you can actually submit test payments with dummy credit card numbers. This process is different for each payment integration, so be sure to visit wpforms.com for tutorials on each of these options. Question number six. Is it clear exactly what content and format you'd like for each field? Some fields will require users to enter information in a specific format, like a phone number or an email. Or maybe you're looking for specific information from a user, but the form isn't super clear on that. You can show users exactly what you need by using things like the field label, description, or even add a placeholder text to leave little to no doubt about what a user needs to enter in a field and how. Question number seven, is your form too long? A long form can look and feel really overwhelming for users at first glance. 
Modifying your form in certain ways can help make it less overwhelming and more user-friendly to your customers. You can do things like creating columns to shorten a form, split your form up into sections with dividers, break it up into multiple pages with a progress bar, or hide certain fields or sections with conditional logic. Question number eight, is your form secure from spam? Spam is probably one of the biggest issues WordPress users face on a daily basis. The last thing you want is for your inbox to be flooded with spam submissions. This will make it a lot easier to sort out real leads from fake ones. WP Forms has a bunch of different anti-spam methods to help you protect your forms, from built-in spam protection, a Kismet integration, and even the ability to add CAPTCHAs like reCAPTCHA, HCAPTCHA, Cloudflare Turnstile, and more. You can also filter out entries in a couple of different ways, such as by country and keywords. Protecting your site should be one of your top priorities, so be sure to make use of the tools at your disposal and check out our tutorials on how to prevent spam on WordPress. And there you have it. You now have a complete checklist to help you test your WordPress forms before launching. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. If you need any extra technical help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team.